What does the executive order contain for crypto, specifically XRP? Will it enable the US to become a crypto leader? Or will it stop the crypto innovation in the world? Welcome back XRP Army. Please like the video, subscribe and comment your thoughts on XRP in the comment section. Earlier this week, Vice President Joe Biden issued an executive order directing the federal government to investigate the dangers and advantages of cryptocurrency trading. It is a long-awaited directive that has the crypto sector on edge, not least because of mounting regulatory worries throughout the globe surrounding the young digital asset market. The directive is expected to be finalized by the end of the year. Further, there had been indications of a rift between White House officials and Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, which had resulted in delays in the implementation of the policy changes. The cryptocurrency market learned about the executive order overnight when the Treasury Department unintentionally issued a statement calling it historic and revealing some of the contents ahead of time, which has since been removed. The order was signed on 9 of March, after much deliberation. Following the release of a White House information sheet, it calls on federal agencies to adopt an integrated approach to the regulation and monitoring of digital assets. The press release laid out six major goals of the executive order. 1. Consumer and investor protection. 2. Financial stability. 3. Illicit activity. 4. U.S. competitiveness on a global stage. 5. Financial inclusion. And, responsible innovation. The guideline places a strong emphasis on protecting people's interests. There have been innumerable reports of cryptocurrency investors falling prey to scams or losing large quantities of money as a result of cyber attacks on exchanges or users themselves, among many other issues. The Biden administration has asked the Treasury Department to conduct an assessment and make regulatory recommendations on cryptocurrency. Ensure proper control and protect against any systemic financial risks presented by digital assets, the White House further demanded of regulators. The Biden administration is likewise interested in exploring the possibility of a digital version of the dollar. China has been in the forefront of the push for central bank digital currencies, also known as CBDC, as more and more people rely on smartphones to make payments and manage their personal money. Biden has not said whether or not the United States should develop its own digital currency. As an alternative, he is urging the government to provide urgency to the study and development of a possible CBDC. The Federal Reserve started investigating the possibility of issuing a digital dollar last year, and the process is still ongoing. The central bank issued a long-awaited paper analyzing the advantages and disadvantages of such virtual money, but it has not taken a stance on whether the United States should issue its own version of it. While CBDC has the potential to significantly speed up the settlement of payments, officials are now assessing a variety of concerns, including financial stability and privacy. Because of the presidential decree, we will see the removal of bad cryptos and bad initiatives from the crypto ecosystem. We should look at cryptos that are good for the environment. Before I go any further, let me show you this thread by Brad Garlinghouse and other similar threads that assure us that our future is safe. Like many of you, I thought the Biden admin executive order would acknowledge crypto, but not detail specifics on the next steps for regulation. However, I was pleasantly surprised and inspired by the executive order acknowledging the need for evolution and alignment of the government approach to crypto. For a long time, the crypto sector was the Wild West, but now we are hearing from the top ranks of the US government that we are here to stay and will grow. Compliant cryptos, green cryptos, and quick cryptos will undoubtedly skyrocket. Brad then goes on to say, The White House finally says what we and the industry have been saying for years, if the US wants to maintain its status as a responsible tech leader, it needs to provide a clear regulatory framework for an industry that is exploding in growth, 40 million Americans and counting. Years of damage done by the Security and Exchange Commission siloed regulation by enforcement approach can be undone through collaboration between all agencies. Ripple stands ready to educate and assist. If we are to catch up with the rest of the world, we need prompt and decisive action as soon as possible. Will this executive order enable the US to become the crypto leader? What do you think? Jeremy Allaire, founder of Circle Pay, also chimed in and share a thread of tweets. White House Exec Order and U.S. Government Strategy for Digital Assets. A thread with thoughts. This is a watershed moment for crypto, digital assets, and Web3, 
akin to the 1996-1997 whole of government wake up to the commercial internet. The US seems to be taking on the reality that digital assets represent one of the most significant technologies and infrastructures for the 21st century. It is rewarding to see this from the White House after so many of us have been making the case for nine plus years. Specifically, the executive order calls for nearly every relevant federal agency to take on understanding and developing policy positions that understand and address risks, but vitally, that support innovation and U.S. national economic competitiveness. The executive order is important because it acknowledges that cryptocurrency is here to stay and puts the government one step closer to a legal framework that would recognize and regulate its usage in the United States. We are at a turning point in geopolitical and geoeconomic systems and history, and the US now has the opportunity to lean into an open, internet-native economic infrastructure while others focus on closed, tightly controlled, and privacy-eroding alternatives. In many cases, the executive order sets out initiatives to explore and engage in constructive problem-solving around known risks that exist with the legacy financial system and the new Web3 world. Privacy, security, financial inclusion, global competitiveness for USD, etc. This is identical to the purpose of Ripple. Financial inclusion is one of their aims, and all of these cryptos, such as XRP, that have not yet achieved their all-time highs, as well as the sellers of the globe that have not yet reached their all-time highs, are waiting for rules before they can have a full-fledged bull run. Things are about to blow up as we get closer to that point. Jeremy Allaire goes on to say, while there is a reference to continued research into CBDC, the executive order is appropriately focused on the here and now of rapid growth in digital assets and stable coins, and getting it right so that these technologies can flourish in a responsible manner. For those of us in the crypto community, this executive order should be viewed as the single biggest opportunity to engage with policymakers on the issues that matter. The proverbial doors of policymakers are wide open, this is now a national conversation in the US. The implementation of the new policy agenda eliminates a major source of uncertainty in a sector that has already been shaken by a slew of regulatory glitches and scandals. The US Securities and Exchange Commission fined crypto startup BlockFi a record $50 million earlier this year on charges that its retail lending product violated securities rules. The fine was a component of a broader $100 million settlement that included payments to 32 jurisdictions. Coinbase has also had run-ins with the watchdog, though it has avoided penalties. The Security and Exchange Commission threatened Coinbase with legal action for a scheme similar to BlockFi that paid consumers interest on their cryptocurrency holdings. The service was later discontinued by the corporation. Further rules on cryptocurrencies are on the way, with US Senator Warren drafting legislation to ensure that cryptocurrency cannot be used to circumvent sanctions. It is good news for crypto because a path will be set up for them and if the Security and Exchange Commission would not be able to just strangle any crypto without a proper reason. What do you think, will XRP enjoy a bullish run because of the executive order? Make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Kindly note that the prices of cryptocurrencies frequently change, so by the time you watch this video, it might have changed to a whole new value. The information provided in this video does not constitute investment advice, financial advice, trading advice, or any other sort of advice, and you should not treat any of the content as such. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered financial advice. Do conduct your due diligence and consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions.